Hi, this is Nathan. I will be reviewing my Nostromo, uh, Razer Nostromo today. And I'm actually also making this video to provide to Razer's technical support um, to help them uh, with an issue I'm having with it, which I'm hopefully will reproduce today while I'm using it. So first of all, I want to go into the configurator uh, and show you how I'm using all the buttons. So this is my three-day-old uh, Razer Nostromo. Uh, I've been using the Belkin Nostromo controllers. Uh, I have an N50 and an N52. Uh, I've been using those uh, combined for over 10 years um, playing FPS shooters. So uh, we're going to be looking at the configuration. And then um, after we get done with that, we will go into some Battlefield 3 and try to see if we can reproduce the issue. So, I'm going to narrate here. So what I use this, this uh, the N Razer Nostromo for and what I've used all of them for is uh, particularly um, the, if you see at the bottom here, these shift states. So they're an important piece of, of what I do uh, when I'm playing, um, just so that I can have different key maps going. So you can see we're on the third key map here, the green one. Um, we also have a red one and we have a blue one, and we'll get to those in a second. Uh, I use the green one uh, primarily just because um, it uh, allows me to not have such a bright light on. The old Nostromos uh, could have a basically a non-lighted state, so they had a blank one, and then you could do red, green, or blue. Uh, the Razer iteration of this product allows you to have eight different key maps, so as you can see, Along the bottom here, it kind of scrolls and has uh, has those different key maps that you can that you can map them to. So the green light is the least bright on my eyes when I'm playing at night, so I usually leave it in the green state. So what I use all my keys for, and these are numbered one through fifteen. Uh, they go across the top, so one, two, three, four, five, and into the second row, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, and then eleven through fourteen, and then a little space bar down here. Uh, I also use the uh, directional pad, and um, so I'm going to show you what I have these currently set to, uh, and kind of an explanation for the second key map that I use. So right down the line here, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Maybe no, it's not going to focus right. I can just go down. Basically, each one of these keys, I'm more or less using uh, just a direct uh, key mapping on it, so I don't actually, I normally don't use any type of macros or anything like that, I just use single keys. So I have uh, this first key set to go to the red key map, and the way that that's set up is it's a momentary toggle, so I'm holding it down, once I hold down the button, the rest of the keys, uh, two, you know, 2 through 15, uh, as well as a directional pad, and, and the, the button above the directional pad can become a different key, key set. So uh, my primary key set I have on the second key um, is, a, is a forward slash. I'm doing a W, an E for 4, and then a tab for 5. Uh, for 6, I use R. 7, 8, and 9 are my other movement keys in our A, S, and D. Uh, 10, I use Q. 11 uh, goes to my blue key map, and then... Uh, it, the 12th key is B, 13 is H, 14 is I, and it basically my whole reasoning for these keys is just to make sure that we have, uh, you know, a different key on each on each key so that I can go into my FPSs and just map them. Uh, so I use the same basically key map for all for all FPSs that I play. Um, over here on the directional pad, uh, place. The primary key map, I've got an equals key. Uh, I've got a cycle key maps that is bound to the the mouse wheel. Uh, I don't really ever use those. And then button 15 is a comma. So that's a comma. And then what I've done, um, just I, I read that some people were having issues when these diagonal keys up here on the directional pad were mapped to something. So on all of uh, all my three key maps, I have um, these all set to off, these diagonals. So on my up uh, or forward or north, I have the space key. Um, down I have C for crouch. And then I have Q and E. Um, so Q is my spotting key. 
and then E uh, is use, which I also have bound up here to the uh, four key. So that's what I'm using that for. Um, when I use my key map to key map two, when this this red key map, what happens whenever I hold that momentary toggle? I go here, and then I typically have these mapped one through nine. Um, I'm having an issue with this product where when I am moving forward uh, and, and, and when I'm switching to different weapons, so if I hit uh, two, so if I hold the button one, which is momentary red toggle, and I hit two, that should bring up my uh, main my main weapon. Uh, two should bring or three should bring up my pistol. Four should be um, my any any kit that the user is, is using. So if I'm a medic, it throws out a, a med kit, and then five pulls out my defib paddles if I if I need to revive someone. So so that's what um, I typically use just uh, one through four on that. But um, I'm having an issue where sometimes when I'm moving or I'm strafing and I, or I'm running and I throw out a med kit or I switch to a different weapon, the forward key is uh, getting held down, not physically, but it, the the character on the screen uh, will either keep running forward or keep moving right or keep moving left, um, depending on which key it, it's getting stuck on. And then my user on screen, it, let's say that I go and I stop behind some cover uh, and, and I'm moving left or something, and the key will remain, you know, like the, the left key is being held down and I'll walk out in front of everybody and I have to mash a bunch of keys to try to get to stop. So um, that's one reason I wanted to show these. So basically my macro for this is literally, uh, if I pull up one key, it's uh, hit the one key, uh, wait uh, five hundredths of a second, release the one key. Um, I tried to, and I set it so that it, it continues to play this until I let go of it. Uh, I was thinking maybe for whatever reason the hold the holding of one or the holding of two, three, or four or whatever was causing the issue. So I tried to also set up a macro. I've been able to reproduce it both ways, so that's not really working for me either. So anyway, my last key map, if you remember from the first one, is changing to uh, key map one, which is the blue. Uh, I have a push to talk microphone. Um, and I have that bound on this key map one to a different button. So basically, when I hit that that bottom that bottom left hand button, that 11 button, it goes into blue so that I can turn on my microphone. Um, that way, when it's in blue mode, I know my microphone is on, um, and then I can hit it again to turn it off. And then I hit uh, the same button to go back to green, which is my normal key mode. So it works really well in play. That's how I've always used this kind of a similar setup. Um, for all FPS games um, for the last 10 years and 10 or 11 years, 10 plus years, and that's uh, um, you know worked out really well for me so far. So I wanted to show that briefly. Um, now let's go into the game and see if I can try to reproduce the issue that I'm talking about. So I'm going to move my camera here and let's try to get a good. I'm going to zoom out. Try to get as good of a actually. So why don't we actually just play with the camera right in front of me? That way you'll get the best view of the screen. And I can kind of demonstrate. So, let's uh, go ahead here and I'm not going to use my headphones. So let's just go ahead and hit OK. Um, Uh, it was doing it and I hit a key. Alright, let's try to see if I can do that again. I switched basically to my pistol while I was jumping. No, I didn't do it that time. What I want to do is get it to where it's doing it and it continues to run. I take my hands off, I put the video camera on it, and we go. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here for you guys. There we go. There we go. It's doing it right now. It's doing it right now. Hands are not on it. Moving the mouse. Look at that. It's just moving by itself. It's moving to the right. So it's thinking that, or it's moving up, or up and left. Looks like. So a little bit forward, a little bit left. 
Yeah, so see, my hands aren't even on it. It's moving. I'm not touching. I'm way back away from the thing here. Let's move my mouse. So as you can see, for whatever reason, it's stick thinking that it's still moving. So if I hit a button, let's see if it stops. I'll hit try to hit forward. Now, now it's just moving right. So it was like I had hit forward and right at the same time when switching a weapon. Now it's just moving right. So if I hit right, I bet you it'll stop. So let's try to hit right. Three, two, one, right. And see it stopped. So um, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, I've been be able to recreate that when I'm throwing a kit out, or as you saw just now, is when I was hitting the uh, pulling the pistol out, and it looked like to me the way that it was looked that it was moving and the way that it responded when I hit the buttons is that it was moving forward and right at the same time, as if it thought I had the three and the five. I'm sorry, the three and the nine buttons continually held down. Uh, once I hit forward, then it only was moving right, and then once I hit right, it stopped. So that's what I'm seeing, uh, and I'm going to get this to Razer Technical Support to see if they can help with that. So thanks for being patient and watching as I did this, um, and have a good day.